What's up, nature daddies? We are hiking up to Grizzly and Ruby Lake today. All right. New additions. Shawnee Bobani. Nature mama, Georgia. Old boy, nature daddies too. <laughs> So Nature Daddy has a crew of five today, which is great. Sean and Georgia joined. <laughs> Stu, who's become a regular. And then OG Yan and myself. So yeah, we got quite the uh, quite the pack. Of course, Biscuit and uh, and Missy. Missy Elliot. Missy Elliot. Welcome additions. Always nice to have pups. So yeah. Nice jaunt up to Grizzly Lake. We'll camp there. Uh, Ruby will probably do the second day. Uh, kind of use Grizzly as a base camp. So always nice to ditch the pack for another short hike afterwards. The trail was rather overgrown with thimbleberries and huckleberries on both sides, making it difficult to walk. We can understand why it's called Grizzly Lake. A bear would have a heyday here. But for us, the berries weren't in season, so we had another form of snack. Come on! Yeah, cheers! So what'd you do for conditioning for this trip there, Eric? I've actually been slacking on the cardio lately. Feeling a little more, you know, should have been on the Stairmaster for weeks prior to this, but uh, you know, maybe a little less softball. Sprints to the first base, you know, helps a little bit. How many beers did you drink? I drank like three beers so far. <sighs> Good. Is that helping or slowing you down? It's tough to tell at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie, give, give me a hang loose. At test number five that I've counted, I'm on two. Eric, uh, tell us about your pack. So this is my pack. I have uh, a problem where I just overpack and <laughs> end up with this 70 pound pack, struggle the whole way up. Everyone gets annoyed with me because I'm complaining constantly. And uh, yeah, I well, just like a little bit of suffering, you know? Just uh, the reward at the end is worth it. Right? What are some of the contents you could maybe reconsider? Full size axe. Yeah. yeah. I told you I was bringing the axe though. I said, I'm bringing the axe, you bring the saw. Apparently you thought I was bringing a hatchet. Eric doesn't know what a hatchet is. So, um, a lot of drinks, probably like at least 10 pounds of liquids. What? Look at these calves. Oh, those are glorious, man. <laughs> it's genetics. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie. Yeah, I know, I know. Every time, you can't see the log. My you girl, you look so good. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Okay, struggling quite a bit. Dealing with a little bit of maybe an injury. My right quad on the left side, inside of my knee, starting to seize up. Seems that there is a limit to what the human body can take up a mountain. And uh, 70 pounds is nice. Just getting to the lake and uh, super dark. Not because of uh, the time, but because storms rolled through, which we knew was. Capsies, capsies, capsies. 
Are you okay, Eric? Oh, it just seized right up as soon as I fell. I think I got that on film too. Oh god. Let me stand on your Oh my god. It's so fucking heavy. Jesus Christ. We made it to the campsite. And uh starting to rain. There's an ominous thunder. And uh, I just fell on calf completely seized up. My legs are absolutely toast. I mean, yeah, that looks shitty. Oh, yeah. So uh, a little recap from last night. We didn't do a ton of filming because uh, just an absolute beast of a storm rolled through. Uh, I think we got one clip of it just rolling over the, the mountain there. And uh, you know, it was calling for two to four mils, but it probably rained a good 20 last night. So yeah. didn't do a ton of filming. We did get our steaks going um, and just kind of had dinner. Yeah, Yannick and I were out looking for a bear hang right as this wall of water came in, absolutely <laughs> drenched us. Um, and then, yeah, it just didn't let up. Uh, we started eating steaks and it was pitch black at this point. And we, uh, we see this light off in the forest and we thought it was our neighbors looking for a bear hang. And this guy named Rob from High River, solo, comes out drenched just so drenched we're like jesus he's like i haven't had anything to drink in five hours and we're like fuck man here have some water gave him half my ribeye he was yeah. super appreciative he's doing a five day solo just absolute like a man like what a hunk yeah. <laughs> he was very grateful yeah. to uh, be able to warm himself by yeah, our yeah. fire he yeah. was a cool dude he, yeah. he packed up and he's out this morning yeah. right back up the ridge he came from yeah but uh yeah, it was a night. It was definitely a hunker down kind of night. I think we were all in bed by like 10-ish or something. So. We were all pretty tuckered out from the hike up and the ordeal the night before. But me and Yannick decided we had to see Ruby Lake. So off we went for another 6K hike. Check this beautiful lake out with my best nature daddy friend, Eric. We're ready, baby. <laughs> Is that a 
big enough bone for you there, Ben? Look at all of these tadpoles. These are frogs. They're everywhere. I wonder if I could grab one. It was extremely windy when we got to Ruby Lake, but stunningly beautiful and well worth the climb. You never know what unique creatures you'll find a short hike away. But with the mountain conquered and the lake seen, it was time to head back to camp. Nice. <laughs> it's so satisfying. She's <laughs> got a wood factory happening here. We lost our frisbee in a tree, so had to bust out the old tree climbing skills. Still got it. Get it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. All right. Oh yeah. Brush those luscious locks. Yeah, look at that. Majestic. Are you a Viking? <laughs> In past life, for yeah. sure. Today, I'm a flying Frenchman. What is that? I think it's... Look, the wings are coming. It kind of looks like a dragonfly, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I, I think it is, man. YouTube, Facebook, what is this? What is it? Tell us, tell us what it is. Our neighbors told us how they had drug a canoe up with their horse years ago and offered us a ride. No sense wasting an opportunity. You wanna push on? You don't need to push on. After the float, we took a break from filming, had some food and some drinks, and got some well-needed shut-eye for the hike down the mountain. the hike back down the mountain. All of our legs were very grateful for the gradual decline after the hike up. What is that? Oh, horseshoe. Must be good luck. Nice. Had a lot of twists and turns, a lot of highs and lows, but uh, we made it up to Grizzly Lake. 
got battered by a storm, uh, you know, dusted by wind, and uh, but we made it work. We had a great fire, built up the fireplace, had some good food, great company, great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Hello friends, we're still, <laughs> what, <laughs> okay. With the hike completed and another adventure in the books, we'll leave you with a quote from John Muir. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks.